Ladies and gentlemen, this year for the Nintendo Switch is kind of minimal. I mean, we've got a couple games, we've had an indie direct, but there's not really much going on. And uh, we need to know what the hell's going on this year. We need some games, right? Well, it turns out we might have two major games coming out, and both very, very soon. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Two major games may be making an appearance on the Switch very, very soon. So, before we get started, if you could, hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. Now quickly, I see a lot of people making videos about how Nintendo is not going to be at Gamescom this year, and blah 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 blah. I could make a long 10 minute video about that like every other YouTuber, but why? Nintendo is not going to be at Gamescom this year. Wow, looky there, we summed up the whole thing in two seconds. Now let's move on to some real news. So first, let's start with this. Nintendo could be porting a popular Wii game to the Switch. And if this was a year or two ago, I would say, really, another Wii U game being ported to the Switch? Are we really doing this? But beggars can't be choosers, and we don't have much going on this year, so I'll take it. Gaming giant Nintendo recently filed trademark applications for Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, suggesting the popular Wii U Kirby game may be added to the growing list of older games ported to the Switch. First released in 2015, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse is one of the most graphically impressive games Nintendo released for the Wii U and marked another visual transition for the Kirby series. The title featured a modeled claymation aesthetic with unique platforming mechanics and utilized the Wii U gamepad. With the continued popularity of the little pink hero, Nintendo may be looking to bring back this beloved Kirby game. So if this would have came out a couple years ago, I might not have even cared, but once I played Kirby in the Forgotten Land, it turned me into a full-on Kirby fan. I've went back and played a million other Kirby games. And while I have never played this game here, I remember when it first came out being like, oh my god, those graphics look so insane. Like, I absolutely loved the art style of it. I never even owned a Wii U, so I probably would have never played it anyway. But now that I'm a Kirby fan, this would be absolutely freaking amazing to play. As far as this year for the Nintendo Switch, and it's not having much going on, in my opinion, what Nintendo should do this year is they should remaster some stuff, remake some stuff, and port some stuff over. Maybe release another game or two they've been sitting on, but I would kind of just chill this year. I mean, the, the Nintendo Switch library is massive, and um, I'm sure they're working on games for the Switch too. Them not being at Gamescom this year, I think, kind of confirms that the Switch 2 is not going to come this year. I think it could still come, but maybe that's wishful thinking. And sometimes I think I'm reading between the lines and finding little signs here and there, but I'm probably just lying to myself because I want it so bad. This would be a great treat for the Nintendo Switch. I think Kirby is as popular as they've ever been. And yeah, this is very awesome. I'm very, very excited about this. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a port of a Wii U game. We need something very new. Something that we've all been wanting forever. And if you say you're not excited for this next game, well... I probably cannot trust you. Even if you've never played it, deep down inside in your soul, you must know that this game is going to be a masterpiece and that we need it. And I'm talking about Hollow Knight Silk Song. So last week I made a video about some Hollow Knight Silk Song updates, and it was looking very, very promising. And now we can add some fuel to that fire. Hollow Knight Silk Song has now been raided once again. As you can see, Hollow Knight Silk Song has now been raided in Australia. Before this, I think it was also raided in Brazil or South Korea, South Korea. Once games start being rated in Brazil, South Korea, and Australia, I know it's very strange places, but 99.9% .9 of the time, that means that game is coming very soon. It's almost imminent. And as you can see, we're on the Australian classification website, and this has been rated PG for mild violence. So this was actually rated on April 2nd. So this is very, very recent. Production company Team Cherry, that's good. Now that Hollow Knight Silk Song has been rated, I believe in South Korea, it has a rating that popped up on the Xbox store. It can be wishlisted for Xbox now. We had somebody at Xbox point out that it can be wishlisted. On the Switch, it also has a rating again. I think they've added it back up or something. I, I really can't remember what the hell I said in last week's video. But this game, I believe, was shown off in 2019. That's five freaking years. The Hall Now Silk Song looked like it was completed at the time. Like, when you look at the Hall Night Silk Song trailer... It looks like it goes through the entire game. Now Hollow Knight is known as a masterpiece, but I think it took a couple years for it to get that recognition. So I think Team Cherry seen that it was slowly growing and getting fans and getting kind of a cult following. So they're probably like, you know what? Let it have some room to breathe. 
And then when Hollow Knight's been played by everybody multiple times, I think it's time to release Hollow Knight Silk Song. And I think this is the perfect year to release this game. When you look at the three big gaming companies, Nintendo, Xbox, and PlayStation, there's not much coming this year from any of those companies. So I know Hollow Knight's on Xbox. I know it'll be on the Switch. I'm not sure if this is on PlayStation consoles. But regardless, you know what they say, it's all about timing. And I actually think this is the perfect time to launch this. I think there's an Xbox event coming up in the next month. And I think Hollow Knight and Xbox have some weird deal where they get to promote it first or something like that. So yeah, I think this game can be shown off literally this month um, or within the next 30 days. And this is fantastic news. Ladies and gentlemen, Kirby, Hollow Knight, do I really need to say more? Yes, this year is not as good as 2023. I mean, that's almost damn near impossible. But I'll take this. I need some games. And Kirby and Hollow Knight, that's perfect for me. Down below, let me know your thoughts and opinions as always. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could. I'd really appreciate a follow. And you guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.